After the fasteners lecture, a few people may be wondering how is it best to draw a fastener in AutoCAD. I'm going to assume that you know how to draw this bit yourself, since there's nothing too complicated there. What we're going to focus on is how to draw these bits. So from the diagram I just deleted, you should know that the diameter of the head is going to be 7 on 4 times the diameter of the shape. Now I could work out what 7 on 4 times 30 is in this case, or I could let scale do it for me. The scale command works by first selecting the object you want to scale, hitting enter, and then specifying a base point. Now the base point I want to use is the middle of this line, but not showing up at the moment. If we go down to object snap tracking and right click, you can scroll up to midpoint, and now a little triangle will appear at the midpoint of lines, allowing us to snap to them. So we snap to that base point, now AutoCAD wants the scale factor. 7 on 4 is equivalent to 1.75. So that's my scale factor for that, and now the, the diameter of the head is the right size. Next we want this offset, which is going to be 3 on 4 times the diameter. So the uh, diameter of the shank is 30, 3 on 4 times 30 is 22.5. I can use offset and 22.5 to drag this line across to there. What about if we switch for a moment onto the other part of the orthogonal view? We need a hexagon over here. I can use polygon and enter six sides to specify a hexagon over here. Now, I want to drag across from this line, but it's not working. What I need to have turned on is this setting down here, Object Snap Tracking. That allows me to drag across, so the center point of my polygon can be here. I'm also going to inscribe this polygon within a circle, and the radius of that circle I'm going to let be defined by my already defined diameter length there. While we've got this view open, let's complete the circle on the inside using the three-point definition of a circle. So with this, we can just click any three of these center points, and there we have it. That's that bit there. When we come to tracing on these features, again, I can just extend across, put that in, put this one in. Now we need to copy these circular features on the fastener. This time I'm going to go down to the two-point definition of a circle, Pick the center point line, and any length here that looks about right. We could have 60, 50, something that looks like it's close enough. I'm going to go with 60 in this case. Now what I want is I want a circle in this bit, which touches that line, touches that line at the same point horizontally there, and touches the center point of this. So again, if I go to three-point definition of a circle, this first point is easily enough to find, that intersection. This intersection of this this line doesn't have a center point where I want it. However, this one over here does. And I can trace back across until it intersects. That's where I want that second point. Now the third point, similarly, is going to be run up straight vertically from that point until it intersects the line. If it's locking in at a lot of different angles as well, you can go back down to polar, change it to something bigger like 90, and that way it won't, uh, won't interfere too much. Okay, so that's the back. Using the trim command, we can clear out the parts of the circle we don't want, like that one, that one, and then delete this. And uh, now you'll notice as well that I've only drawn one side of this, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to duplicate my work with mirror. Okay, I'll slow that down a bit. Select I, If I select my objects first, and then type mirror, AutoCAD straight away knows that those are the objects I want to mirror, so the first thing it asks for in this instance is the first point of the mirror line. So if I use my midpoint again as my first point in the mirror line, and horizontally we'll just drag out to the lock in there. Click Erase Source Objects. Do I want to get rid of these objects while I copy these ones over there? No, I don't. So no, enter. And then we have a mirror. We can now get rid of the excess part of this circle that we don't want. And we have a beautifully drawn faster. I hope that's been helpful.